everyone, welcome to Now is the Time. I'm Mary Crowley. And on today's show, I have a young man whose name is Jason Lee David. And he's got an incredible story about how God is literally using him all over the world and breaking forth the fire and the glory of God with supernatural healings and revelations of who God is. And so welcome to the program, Jason. Thank you. Thank Good you to for have you here. On. You know, we were talking earlier just in the green room talking yes. about your story. And I know myself personally, I didn't want to become a Christian. Uh, I didn't want to give my life over to the Lord in my teens because I thought mm -hmm. that being a Christian was boring. Sure. And you, know, you couldn't have any fun. You couldn't go out and party and do all these other things. But when I finally accepted God, accepted Jesus into my heart, I realized how wrong that I was. And that actually it's the sure. most fun thing is to become a Christian. Absolutely. You found Absolutely. that out to be the case. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's so much joy in the kingdom. I mean, even if you look at the preaching of the gospel, uh, gospel means good news. And a lot of times we forget that, especially in the Western world that uh, blessed are the feet of those who bring good tidings of great joy. Hebrews says that Jesus was more anointed with the oil of gladness than all of his companions. So joy factor is huge for the kingdom of heaven. This is the kingdom of heaven is righteousness, peace, you know, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So a third of the culture of heaven is joy. So, you know, you well, can't so go and, wrong. And there's a lot of people watching that might suffer with depression and oppression. I mean, they say half of the United States is on some type of antidepressant. Sure, sure. So how do people get the joy, would you say? Let's say they're Christian, they're watching, but they mm. literally get overcome by... Depression is a spirit. Mm. Yes, And absolutely. so what do you tell people to do that are suffering with, you know, anxiety or depression, sure. oppression? I would say first is where, where's your mind? Where are your thoughts? Um, the scripture constantly talks to us about remembering him, about putting these things into remembrance. It talks about um, rejoice. First Thessalonians says rejoice with all gladness at all times. Um, actually, we were just speaking recently with a guy who's very, uh, I haven't done enough homework to research this yet, but he was actually talking about the different compartments that we have in our brain and that uh, medical researchers and quantum physics is finding that in studying the brain, the biggest compartment of your brain is actually called the joy compartment, which is right here on the frontal lobe of the brain. And it's the point where a child gets their definition from their parent when they're staring at their parent as a baby. They're receiving all the mannerisms, the inflections of joy, all those beautiful cooing and cawing sounds they're making, all the crazy things we do for babies and the, the sounds we make that we wouldn't do for anyone else. We're doing that for a child, and it's actually releasing and activating the joy compartment of the brain. They say children laugh 400 times a day. The average adult laughs, laughs 18 times a day. So we've got a kind of an upside-down scale where we've lost that. So I think focusing on the goodness of God. The Bible says that <coughs> God is good, and the goodness of God will lead us to repentance. So we've been, you know, for years in the West, we've preached a lot of hellfire preaching to get people to Jesus. But yeah. it's actually... It's actually joy, <coughs> joy that brings us into the presence of God. When we focus on the goodness of God, yeah. joy is lifted up inside of us. <coughs> Are you okay? No, I just need some water. <laughs> Mr. Philip, could you grab me some water? I was going to grab some. Excuse me. Yeah, <coughs> well, bless you know, this, you, is, bless you. this is interesting. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, it's okay. <coughs> yeah, I wanted to get some water before I started. Let's just cut that. Yeah. Yeah, you I okay? knew I needed water in, in you know, like my...